Hey everyone, how you doing? I'm doing some HDR video today, trying some stuff out, seeing how it works. And I was recording some stuff, and so this is what my camera should look like. This is an SDR camera. I was recording this just a second ago. And this is what that SDR camera looks like when it gets recorded improperly. It does not look very nice. So what I did was, is I went into the camera itself. So under filters, I have this thing called source record. That's what I'm using to record stuff. So I went into source record and I've set everything up here. You have to make sure the recording format is TS. So on the capture card, if I set the recording format to MKV, that's where you get the issue. It's definitely saving the file as an 8-bit file. And I'll show you how that looks. So if we look at the file here of the bad one, we're going to bring it into this app media info and you just drag it in here. And I've already changed the view to be tree. And as you see here, it's in the HEV format. It says it's HDR 10 capable. If we look down here, it's eight bit color. So it's not recording in the 10 bit color and it's got color primaries BT 2020, but over here, the original is BT 709. So it knows what it's having as the original source material and where it's going to. And then if you look at the good one, it doesn't have any HDR material. And so it just says the primary is BT 709. So instead of trying to upscale this to HDR, which makes it look awful, it looks really good. So now if we compare the two, so you can see the difference between them because one is upscaled SDR to HDR and it doesn't upscale it very good. But you can see that hey, it's in HDR now, but it's it's all clipping and everything. Or you can see the standard definition version. The only difference I did was change it to .ts. This is an MKV. And when you make an MKV, it thinks it's HDR10. When you do .ts, it properly puts it as a regular 8-bit color video. And then when you're bringing it into an editing software, you can do whatever you want with it from that point. So that's actually wrong. This is future Kevin here. I found that putting the .ts is actually a problem, so I don't recommend it anymore. I recommend you use the .mk kv format and with the .ts format what ends up happening is yes it looks fine but when you bring it into something like premiere all the colors are completely off because premiere doesn't know what to do with it so it doesn't work consistently but you can get it to work consistently if you do record it as an 8-bit video with mkv format and i'll show you the, what that looks like here just to show you also the normal video that i take out it would look like this so this is what it would look like it's the same kind of thing it's a little bit different i guess but this is what it wouldn't look like for a real hdr video and then my other camera that one also looks fine i was thinking why does that one look fine well that one looks fine because it's also recording in not hdr but i'm pretty sure this camera does support hdr so now i'm wondering how to enable that through this because i did put it in pq mode so if i go into the camera itself i can change some of these settings here and i do have it set to pq or rec 2100 pq in the settings and in OBS itself, it looks correct. So I'm a little confused as to why it doesn't look correct when you make a video. It's not making an HDR video. And I think the reason for that is that when I'm doing the source record, I've also set the source to be the FFmpeg one. If I use this one here, NVIDIA NVENC HEVC, not the FFmpeg one, I'm pretty sure that one will allow for HDR. It could also be that the profile is just not set to 10 bit. I mean, that could be the other thing. That's probably what it is. I've been messing with the settings so much, it might've gotten messed up. Well, I'm gonna try some more recordings and see where I get to, and then I'll come back. Seems like you can't get HDR to work from the source record filter in OBS. Let me show you that again. Here's the OBS window. Here is a filter. Here is source record. Even if the camera is in PQ21, mode so let me show you that this camera is in rec 2100 pq then even though i'm using the source record filter in here all the way down if i use the hevc that's native to nvidia that doesn't work and if i use this ffmpeg one it also doesn't work but at least the ffmpeg one does display properly when you save a video whereas the hevc one just gives me a green screen which sucks even with the 10-bit color it did not fix it i tried a bunch of things there's probably some way to make it work but i wasn't able to get it working even though obs is set up correctly for hdr i can show you that right here I have it set up with P010, 10-bit, 420, two planes, whatever. This is how you get it in HDR mode with the Rec 2100 PQ. I'm just not sure what's going on. If you're looking at the nominal peak level at 10,000, I'm still experimenting with some things, so I put it there. If this turns out bad, then it turns out bad. Oops. Oops.